Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to do these four easy half up half down hairstyles. The first one's really quick and easy uh, and it can work on both curly and straight hair. To start we're just going to gather the crown area of the hair and secure this at the back with a clear elastic band. Now we're going to take all the hair from the ear forwards on the left hand side. We're going to bring this around to the back of the head and we're just going to create a small hole on the right hand side. Pop your fingers through and pull that section of hair all the way through and then just secure it with a bobby pin or two. Now we're going to repeat this on the right hand side, so take all of the hair from the ear forwards, bring it round to the back, make a hole with your fingers on the left hand side and again pull that hair through. Secure it to the head with some more bobby pins, pinch and pull at the hair to give it a little bit of texture and it really is that simple, that's the first style complete. Okay, now moving on to style number two, I'm putting a soft wave through the hair and I'm just taking small sections and wrapping them around my curling wand um, in opposite directions. Now I'm just using my fingers to rake through those waves so they're not too tight. And again, we're just gonna take the crown area of hair, uh, smooth this back and secure it at the middle of the back of the head by just twisting that section and placing a bobby pin to hold everything in place. Apply some texture spray and use your fingers to pinch and pull this crown area apart. Next we're going to do a Dutch braid, so we're going to take the hair on the right hand side and split it into three sections. We're going to cross the left under the middle and add a section of hair and then cross the right under the middle and add a section of hair. And we're just basically going to Dutch braid all the way down the side of the head, making sure that we keep it close to that crown section. When the head starts to curve round, we're just going to stop adding hair and finish it off in a regular three strand braid. Add some texture spray and then pinch and pull that braid apart. And then we're just going to create another Dutch braid on the opposite side of the head. Bring the right hand braid into the middle of the back of the head and secure it with a bobby pin or two. Now we're just going to pass a couple of fingers through a stitch of the braid and then grab hold of the opposite braid and pull it through that little hole and then just secure this with another bobby pin. Okay, now moving on to the right hand side, we're going to take a section of hair directly under the braid and split it into two and we're just going to twist the bottom strand over the right strand but every time you do this I want you to add a little slither of hair to that bottom strand and again carry on doing this until the head starts to curve round then stop adding hair and just finish it off in a regular twist add some texture spray to that twist and then we're just going to pin it directly under those braids then we're just going to use our fingers to pinch and pull that twist apart to make it nice and voluminous. And then we're just going to repeat on the left hand side doing the same twist as before. Add your texture spray and then pinch and pull that apart. And here's the finished look for the second style. Okay, moving on to the third hairstyle. I'm just wrapping thin sections of hair around my curling tong, making sure I curl some hair towards the face and some hair away from the face. And just repeat this curl pattern until you've done all of the hair. Okay, now we've got everything curled, I'm just going to add some texture spray just to break up those curls a little bit. Okay, now we're just going to section out those front sections and I'm just taking my comb from the top of the head to meet the top of the ear and then just clipping that out of the way for later. 
and then I'm going to repeat this on the opposite side. Next we're just going to gather up the crown and just tie this off in a clear elastic band. Use your fingers to gently pinch and pull so it's nice and messy. Release those side sections and all we're going to do is bring them both to the back of the head. And really simply we're just going to tie these in a knot as if you were tying your shoelaces. To keep this secure we're just going to push a bobby pin through the centre of that knot and then gently loosen everything up by pinching and pulling. And it really is that simple. Here's the third hairstyle complete. And finally moving on to the last hairstyle, again I'm going to curl the hair but I want a little bit more of a looser wave so I'm twist wrapping it around the barrel of my tongue and as I release the curl I'm gently pulling it downwards so it's not too tight. Again make sure you alternate the direction you curl these in so they don't all join together. Carry on curling in this way until you've completed the whole head and we're going to add some texture spray to give it a nice beachy look. So I'm just going to split the hair from ear to ear and I'm going to split it into three sections and all I'm going to do is drop out that middle section and bring those two side sections together at the back and secure them off with a clear elastic band. Pass a couple of fingers behind the elastic band and pass that little ponytail up to your fingers and pull it through so you're creating a twist. And then gently pinch and pull at that twist just to loosen everything up a little bit. And also pinch and pull at the crown. Now I'm just taking a very small slice of hair just to the right hand side of that elastic band and I'm taking my fingers and creating a hole just behind that twist on the left hand side. I'm just going to pass that small bit of hair up to my fingers and pull it through and this will help hide the elastic band and just pin this to the head with as many bobby pins as needed. And then we're going to repeat the same on the opposite side. So from that left hand side, take a small slice of hair. Make a hole behind that right hand twist. And pass that small section of hair up to your fingers and pull it through. And again, secure it to the head with a bobby pin. spend a minute or two pinching and pulling at all the loops and twists of this hairstyle and here's the last look complete if you like these please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials